Hey, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul. And I'm gonna teach you how to do a very easy porch sign that you can get the supplies relatively cheap and do this in just a short amount of time. So as you are here, I want you to let me know if you've ever painted a porch sign before, or you can also call it a porch laner, either way. So I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques. Now, I am using stencils from, um, you can click the link in the description or in the comments, um, from Essential Stencil, and you can use my coupon code Texas Heidi to get a discount. So this is a welcome stencil. Hey, Amy, hey, y'all. And um, thank you for saying hi as you come on. And then I'm gonna use like a dry brush technique. So I'm gonna use a two inch chip brush, and I'm gonna grab some of my white paint, and I'm basically, gonna just find a place anywhere. I'm gonna just use this paper towel. Hi, hello BFF, hello, hello. And as you um, are here, if you want to know more about, and I'm gonna actually brush a lot of this off and then just start to, to dry brush it on. But if you are um, wanting to learn more about paint parties and you've thought about doing something like this, and um, you can text me you can text the word gnome and I'll actually give you a cool free gift. So go ahead and screenshot this. I'll leave it up for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and screenshot and then text the word gnome and then you'll um, get a free gift in addition to, and um, when I have some cool stuff going on, you'll get that as well. Okay, so I'm just dry brushing. This is step one. Actually, let me back up. <laughs> step one is putting a glaze effect I love this one. Hello, oh, Pam's a newbie from Minnesota. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. Hey, everybody. And so this is a Van Dyke Brown from General Finishes. Now, I just take a six foot board and I paint Van Dyke Brown on it and I let it dry. Now, that is a glaze that dries really fast so that you can actually teach this as a paint party, which is really cool. Then, I just take the white with a two inch chip brush and just grab it and basically kind of just rub, like buff it on there, you know, just grabbing the paint and just filling it all the way to the top. You can leave it as the wood grain if you want, or you can do a kind of whitewash like I'm doing now and have that brown kind of peeking out behind it. So it's totally your choice. So please let me know as you come on. Hey, Karen, hey y'all. Let me know as you come on if you've ever painted a porch sign. It is the easiest and most like fun, quick way to do something that makes your porch, especially if you're a wreath maker and you're putting a wreath on the door. This is something so fun that you could put beside your wreath. And I usually get this wood for about $15 a board, depending on how much wood is at the time. But I've paid any as low as $13 for this six foot board, all the way up to $17 for this six foot board. And then I buy my stencil, and then you'll see here, I'm gonna have it finished for you here in just a few minutes. So you're gonna see how quick it is. Oh, that's awesome. You just went to Great Wolf Lodge. How fun is that? Hey, Shelly. She says, hey, hey, Heidi girl. <laughs> so cool. Okay, so I'm just going to get the bottom of this. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to get this welcome sign. Oh, I got to take that part off. Start it. If you go with it too wet, like it's just straight from the paint to here, it'll be too thick. So if you accidentally get it too thick, you can always take a paper towel or a baby wipe and just kind of wipe some of it off. Actually, I might need a baby wipe. I had a little mistake. Where's my baby wipes? Hold on, let me grab my baby wipes. What is that? Oh, I saw something in my attic space and I was like, what is that? It looked like an animal and it freaked me out. <laughs> Oh, Kristen says hers are 20 in her area. Yeah, it depends on where you live. Let me point this down a little bit. It depends on where you live on how much they are. But look at this. I'm taking a baby wipe, and if I put too much paint, I can just wipe it off. Isn't that cool? And then you can, if you had sandpaper or whatever, you could take some of that and sand it if you want it. 
So you could go crazy on this and just go like as much as you wanted. Um, let's see, what do you sell them for? Great question. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna pat this dry so I can go ahead and do the next step. But I, so I teach paint parties and I love teaching these at paint parties. So what I would do is if I'm doing this as a paint party, I would do it for $55. So that includes all the supplies. They're obviously not gonna get to keep any of the stencils I have. So um, so here's the thing about stencils. I have so many. You can get your welcome stencil using my link in the description. You'll actually get a percentage off if you use the coupon code Texas Heidi. So there is a welcome stencil like this that you can buy and I think it's on sale right now too. So go ahead and use the link that is in the description and um, then you can get a discount. And I just looked, as of the moment, they did have them for sale. Usually when I go live, they usually um, sell out pretty fast. So make sure you um, do that. And let's see, oh my gosh, that is crazy, Jennifer. I hope you're okay. Oh my goodness, that is, that is crazy. And um, yeah, so for at a paint party event, Man, that's we're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to make sure you're okay in a little bit. That's that's insane. Um, so we're gonna have um for a paint party event, I would do this for um fifty five. If I was doing this as a like actually, and I'm just gonna take some turquoise and just dab it on here. And um, if I was doing this like as a commission, I might charge a little bit more. So if it's a commission piece, you could actually charge more. Um, I know a lot of y'all have done, you know, you've followed me and you've done the snowman ones. It was so funny the other day, I was at a massage therapist and I, I walked in and somebody had my um, snowman painted, the birch, the birch tree snowman. And I was like, that is so cool. So she must have watched one of my lives and um, painted it because it was exactly my design and she had it there for sale. It was really cool. So um, so remember you can either do them in a paint party setting or you can do them as a, um, as just a, a, you know, selling it as a commission. So there's so many different things like that. Very, very cool. And let's see, Heidi, I don't have a closed in porch or covered porch, Donna says. Is there something I can do like this that will hold up in the open elements? Yeah, so um, my porch is not closed in either, Donna. And what I do is I spray this on it afterwards. I do several coats of this. And I actually don't mind if it gets weathered. You can see that this one has been used and abused. And I don't mind even if it gets a little bit warped because again, it's just, you know, this one I've had for years. So I probably had this one at least two years, maybe three years. And um, I set it out there. And as long as you have um, some poly spray, it is going to get worn down, but it's not the end of the world. My thing is, is like, you know, put it out there. If you know you're about to have a big storm, just grab it and put it right inside, you know, for the storm. And then you can put it right back out there. But I usually don't, I don't worry about that stuff too much. Um, maybe I should, <laughs> maybe I should, but I don't worry too much about that. And let's see, I need a stencil that says, I love pickleball. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, uh, pickleball, isn't it? I think pickleball's coming back. I've heard, I've heard some rumors that it's coming back big time. Um, okay, so those of y'all, if you're just joining, you can grab the stencil link to buy the welcome stencil. Um, and it's a good one to have. And if you are teaching paint parties, I recommend having at least one stencil for every three painters. So if you are you know, not just doing this for yourself, but you're doing this as like a business, I recommend having um, three stencil or two stencils for every three, I'm sorry, one stencil for every three painters. If you can have one for every two, that's even better. But I know sometimes if you're just getting started in the paint party world, um, you don't wanna buy you know a zillion of them. So I have actually built up my collection of stencils. So you know every time I make a profit from a party, I'll buy a few more, especially like the welcome and home sweet home, things like that. I know that people are going to pick those. 
so they're easy to do all year long. Okay, so I'm just grabbing the chip brush. Again, it's a two inch chip brush. Grabbing it, dusting some of it off, kind of offloading it, and just piling it on there. Now, people can be very, very strategic about this and make it perfect. I'm not that kind of painter. <laughs> I'm not that kind of painter. Um, Elaine, so I get the, um, right here, I get the boards at Lowe's or, my, or Home Depot. And usually Lowe's is where I buy mine, but any kind of um, lumber, and it's it's a six foot white wood, that's what it's called, six foot white wood, and I pay anywhere from 13 to 17 or 18, depending on the price of wood at that time. So it's just a six foot, it's called white wood, and it's just a, I mean, I just buy it in the Lowe's section, and then when I do my paint parties, I usually, do this part ahead of time, the glaze ahead of time so it's ready to go. And then that way they can go ahead and do all of this part. They can do the, the whitewash if they want. They can do all of the fun extras. Okay, so we have our stencils on there. Now what you want to do, you'll let this dry for a few minutes. And then what you'll do is kind of hover over where you want the welcome. And so I'm just going to kind of place it. Actually, let me dry that for just a second. It'll just take a second because I have a, a heat gun. If you have any questions about porch cleaners or porch signs, let me know. And how do you get the stencil again? Oh, so the stencil is in the description or in the, the link. If you use coupon code Texas Heidi, you get a discount. Texas Heidi for a discount. And then if you want to learn more about paint parties or paint party business, go ahead and text me, text the word gnome, and I'll give you a free gift. In addition to, you'll know anytime I'm live. So you can text the word gnome to get a free tracer and a free gift for me. And then you'll also know whenever I'm live. So if you're interested in paint parties, or maybe you've you know been that person that's been giving away everything for free. Um, I was that person for a long time. I remember when I was teaching full time, a friend of mine had asked if I could make her something. And of course, you know, I was just, I was teaching full time, had a toddler and you know, doing everything I could. And then I remember her asking and me feeling like I need to do that, right? So I stayed up till midnight on a Tuesday night doing the, the project she wanted. And then when I brought it to her, she totally, totally forgot that she asked me for it. And um, it was at that moment that I was like, no more free, <laughs> no more free. So um, let me know if you've ever been the, the friend or the person who is always giving everything away for free and you don't know how to actually make money doing it. Because I was that person for many years and then I was like, wait a minute, she just, she totally forgot she asked me for it. And I was like, why am I staying up till midnight stressing myself out and not spending time with my family? to do something that somebody asked me. And that's when I started going, okay, let me put some boundaries. Let me put some boundaries on what I'm doing. Let me put some boundaries on this so that I can still have a life and then turn, you know, of course, um, if you wanna make a profit doing fun things like this, then of course, there's many, many, many ways. <laughs> but I was that person for a long time doing everything for free. I know some of y'all can relate to that. Um, I got caught like out like that today. Oh my gosh. Um, I even make my mom and grandma pay for my paint parties. <laughs> That's good, Jennifer. I know I um uh, I don't know if I've made my um mom and grandma pay, but I think my grandma did pay one time and I was like, no, grandma, but she insisted. So that was really sweet of her. And um, let's see, love these colors for a porch cleaner. Oh, thank you. Yes, Kim, always, yeah, always get prepays. That's very important, even if you're doing a porch cleaner, because again, you're 
putting this money out. So if you got prepays, then you're using money from your customers to buy your supplies. So I always tell people, get prepays first, then you can start, you know, buying your supplies. So you don't have to have, you know, a zillion easels. You don't have to have a ton of aprons. When I first started, I didn't have aprons. I didn't have anything. I just took, you know, paintbrushes from my art studio and used what I had. So that's what I definitely did. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. If you want the gnome, the free gnome tracer, text me here, text the word gnome and it'll automatically send it to you. So I'll leave this up for five seconds so you can screenshot. Five, four, three, two. All right, so you can screenshot and then text the word no and you'll get a free tracer. And then if you want to get this welcome stencil, there is a link in the description. Make sure you use coupon code Texas Heidi, all one word, Texas Heidi. And so you can get a discount. So um, hopefully they will be in stock. A lot of times when I, I talk about it, they um, sometimes sell out. So I want y'all to grab it if you want it and use Texas Heidi as the coupon code so that you can get a discount. Okay, so we're about to reveal our porch leaner, our porch sign. Are you ready to see it? Yee! So excited. Okay, it's always like, you know, I don't know if I did a real good job yet until the end. And then you can always add a big bow on the top. Like I just added a simple black and white stripe at the top. That's why I left a little bit of room here. So I could add a black, like a different bow on the top. So again, these are just easy signs you could make and sell or make and give to a friend, or you could do a porch sign party. So many possibilities. Okay. Did I spell it right? Hopefully. Okay. Let's see. Yee! Oh yeah. You could do cricket letters too, for sure. These I use, um, you know, this company is amazing. So I use their stencils all the time. And they, like you can tell, I've painted on this one probably 50 times along with my customers. All right, pull it straight up and then move the stencil away from the project. So it can be drying somewhere over there. And then, ta-da! Oh, part of this didn't change. So see right here, y'all, the welcome on the E, it didn't connect. So I can just grab, instead of getting my stencil back, I'm just going to grab a liner brush and just connect that. So instead of like taking the risk right there of trying to push all that back together, look at how quick I could do that. And then another fun little trick is you can always do like a little uh, highlight line. So I could take this liner brush. I'm going to show you one more trick. Um, I could take this liner brush and take some of the turquoise paint, let that black dry a little bit, and then I could just put this little line in here. For example, just a little highlight line. Let me make sure that's showing up. I'll pull it, I'll pull it up closer so you can see in just a second. Let me just show you on one of them. So I could just take that hint of blue or even a different contrasting color and see how I can add that to it. And the first stencil I used, great question, was a Paisley stencil that I got years ago at um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I don't even remember where I got it. I think I got it at Michael's. And, but yeah, it was years ago. So I don't even know if that stencil is still in the making, but really it doesn't matter what stencil you use on the background, just pick some fun stencils and then put your welcome over it so it has a really good bold um, thing. And then you can put a ribbon on it, spray some lacquer on it, and then you can just take it, put it right outside, put a little plant, put a pretty wreath on the door, and voila, you have a beautiful porch sign. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Let's see, Annie says, Heidi, I use the snowman painting through PPHQ during Christmas time every year and make a lot of money. But springtime and summer, I'm painting sunflowers. Oh, that is awesome. I think I just put paint on my head too, Annie. 
And that's awesome. Yes, definitely. Sunflowers during spring and summer, anytime. Sunflowers pretty much are good all the time. And again, this was a six foot piece of wood and it's called Whitewood from Lowe's or Home Depot. And I paid about 13 to $17 for the piece, depending on you know the wood and what the price is at that time. And then um, the lacquer I spray is mini wax. You can get any brand, but the main thing is a clear gloss and you want it to have the sunlight, the UV protect it for the sunlight, okay? So make sure you have that. And then again, you can see how tall this is because I'm 5'7", so this thing is taller than me. Let me show you, it's taller than I am. So um, so again, you can put a pretty plant, a wreath on the door and call it a, a day. So if you wanna grab the stencil, go ahead and click the link in the description. Use coupon code Texas Heidi. And um, let me know with some hearts or some comments if you like this. Um, and if you do, I'll do more. All right. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. So it may get awkward for a moment. My finger won't end it. <laughs>